I'm at the Motel 6 in Yuma, Arizona. It is like 110 degrees outside. I don't know, maybe 106, but the humidity is really high. I'm sweating like a dog, and this is the room. The room is actually really cute. Got two queen beds. Meow. And I guess maybe they're doing this to all the Motel 6s. They're making them in the AC is a blessing. But uh, got a little table right there. Going to eat our In-N-Out burger. Got us a little desk. Got us a, a television. And, uh, you yeah, know, I guess they're doing this some things to all the Motel 6s. But this is actually really cute. So, and I, I really like that with the towels. So anyway, here's our room. And it's hot, and we're going to stay inside because now we have something to eat, something to drink, and seeing all kinds of inmates out there with prison tattoos in the parking lot. Yay! Okay, well, today is Monday. We just le we're leaving Yuma right now. We're getting on to I-80, Interstate 80. We're heading... Eight. Eight. Interstate 8. Go this way you end up in Los Angeles, San Diego. Interstate 8 goes along the, uh, the border here, so it goes from San Diego this way. This way. So we're in Yuma, Arizona. We're going to cross the border here in just a second into California, and then we are going to take exit 186, I do believe. And what I want to do is I want to get the address for the casino there so that I could put that in there and then you guys can just uh, GPS it and find your way to this exit. So we're going to Los Algodones, Mexico and you park on the Indian Reservation and I think it's 10 bucks a day to park and walk across and Algodones is just right there. There's uh, all kinds of places to get your teeth fixed and that's the Colorado River down there and at this point right here in Yuma the Colorado River is like nothing see Colorado River it's like nothing 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 we do not give Mexico much water we are stingy Americans Anyway, so we're going down there to uh, go to the dentist, and I'm going to try to get my glasses. I'm going to try to get some glasses. California State Line, Imperial County. So we just crossed into Imperial County, California, and uh, heading to Los Algodones, Mexico. Welcome to California. Communist state of California. Woot, woot. Pacific time. You are entering a Pacific time at this point as well, so you need to know that if you're coming from other states. Okay, Algodonis Road, exit one mile. That's how close to Yuma this is. Uh, so st staying in Yuma is, is nice, er, than sleeping in your car. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, uh, there is a casino down here, and uh, Mexico next exit. But that's how that's how quick it is. It's like a ten minute drive, right? Yeah. So it's about a ten minute drive. I think so. And there's the casino right there. So the casino is a lot closer, and then the Indian Reservation has a campground down here too. So I'm going to show you this, Algodonis Road, Andre, exit 166, no, I, I messed up in my head, so exit 1, okay, you can turn that off, hit the back button. Interstate 80 uh, from San Diego to Yuma, Arizona is approximately 175 miles. So California is that wide at the bottom. Do you know what the name of this is, Lisa? It's the Queshcon 
it's weird. It's you know what? I'm going to just cruise in there because we've got a second. Q U E C H A N. Casino. How you that? Right. It's an India casino, so it's got uh, a name I cannot pronounce. Quachkin? Right. I'm sorry guys, I don't know how to pronounce that. So that is the casino that's right here. So if you want to Google that and uh, find out, but this is August, so it's not... Uh, it's empty. It's empty, it's not busy. August is very hot down here. If you can handle the heat and... Uh, this is a really nice casino and this is actually pretty pretty new this is really new if you can handle the heat you're gonna you know obviously get cheaper rooms and uh, Ocotillo Cafe brunch buffet 13 bucks and it looks like they have a lot of rooms so I mean those are all the rooms right there so it does look like they have a lot of rooms so this is their casino uh, I'm imagining that's a pool in there. Looks like a big pool, and I bet it's cleaner than that Motel 6 we were at the other night. Should we drive all the way around? Oh yeah, that's definitely a pool. It's the pool area right there. Let's go ahead and drive all the way around. What's it gonna hurt? Go to the back here. So the rooms are, you know, a guesstimate would probably be, you know. We can look it up when we get home. Yeah, we could look it up. But, uh, I mean, there's a few people here. This is not the road out, is it? It says exit on the sign. Well, I was. I think it comes around this way. I think it does too, but I'm going to turn back up. Anyway, there are a few cars out here, so I'm sure that uh, people are down here. Uh, I see California plates, I see Nevada plates, I see Arizona plates, but people come from all over, uh, they come down from Canada actually to get their teeth worked on and everything else, so there's a uh, huge influx and the last estimate I heard was a hundred thousand people a year come here to uh, get medical treatment of some kind or another cross the border just into the little town of Algodonas and uh, in the 20 years that I've been going to Algodonas it has improved greatly they've actually fixed a lot of things up and you know painted and got it uh, a lot more tourist friendly Pretty, per se. Pretty. So this is 166. Exit 166. And I do believe this is the Colorado River. Maybe. It's got to be. Yeah, it pretty much, the Colorado goes down to a, like, all-American canal. It goes down to nothing. The time it gets into Mexico, it's really sad. It's uh, it's really sad. So there is a huge uh, electrical plant right there, and it's just a little two-lane road. And what you'll see here, if you come in the uh, tourist time, which would be January, February, this is crowded, crowded. Yeah, see that right there could be the Colorado River. And it literally goes down to nothing by the time it gets into Mexico. So, and so just from the entrance there to where we're gonna park is so five miles, ten miles, real close. So, do we have to walk five miles? No, no, we just drove that. Weapons, oh, ammo, okay. illegal in Mexico. Do not bring your guns and ammo. 
a Mexican jail is not like a California jail or a jail in the States. All bad, gringos. All bad. Don't be stupid. You know, don't be Joe Badass thinking you're Joe Badass and just... We took our, even our pocket knives out of our pockets. We've taken all of our medications out of our purses. Uh, when we come back through, we have our passports and we, you know, you just don't do that. If you want to spend some time in a Mexican jail, you're an idiot. There is the kind of RV park thing here. Wow, it looks that's really scrunchy. Wow, that's looking bad. That's really scrunchy. Holy moly, that is way worse than anything I remember. Wow. Well, they've got their electrical outlets and, and water hoses out there, but I don't remember it looking that bad. Well, it, does, it, looks, it looks empty. It's it, all boarded. It's all boarded up. Uh, wow. Last U-turn for the U.S. Is this it, Mom? I don't. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> Sorry. Last U-turn, U.S. 900 feet. No, I think this is it. Where is their, uh, yeah, the uh, parking lot. Yeah, this is the parking lot. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. But they usually have their booth right here. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Okay, I'm used to the booth being right here, but it's obviously down there. And how much was it? I think it was six dollars. Six bucks for a car. So we're in a car. RVs, vans, big, big, big vehicles are obviously going to cost more because you're taking up two parking spots. So, <coughs> and if you can see that little brown building right there, that is the border. You see the Mexican flag? That's the border. So, you got six bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, see my trucks with traders, $12. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. Arm remains open for four seconds. Well, I hope it comes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, alrighty. Well, they actually have expanded their parking lot from what I remember uh, substantially here. Do you remember being, it being this big? lost the car a few times <laughs> and as big as this parking lot is it fills up and you will be parking way out here in never never land we are gonna park way up here with everybody else you know how uh, Americans like to congregate together you know you're the only one in a campground for 700 miles and somebody will come park and camp next to you it's just how it goes right yes so, you see the Mexican flag? The border is right there. So you just walk through this gate, walk down there, and uh, yeah, I see an optical place right there. we'll be out in a second. Okay, so we're just walking through a little gate here. We parked over there, but uh, this is how empty the parking lot is in August. It is absolutely empty. There is the U.S. Customs Border Patrol right there. They're stopping vehicles. You get your happy little feet and you walk, walk, walk. Tick, tick, tick. And right there, right there, whoops. Right there where that little red X is. That's where you walk through. But you got your uh, customs going through and you see people go through on their motorcycles and spend the day and everything else. Where and you, and you go through. Then you go through here, and you can see that their uh, border patrol has uh, that car, and they're looking all the way through it. Got the hood up, got all the doors open, got their drug dogs out there, got their cameras going. And there's people that come and go here all the time. But it tells you the last exit, which I almost missed, you know. But uh, don't do that if you're in a big, huge RV or something. You need to l look where you're going because you know, you're going to have to flip a Yui there or whatever, so. No photography, so I'm going to have to 
narcotics and controlled substance. So, no taking of videos. Pictures may not be taken in this area without authorized, okay. Okay, we walked through the border right there. Went through there, swung a left, came down this first road, and this is the border right here. All these cars are going out, back into California. And we are right here at Dr. Paro's office. Bam! Okay, I'm going to show you exactly where I'm going for my eyeglasses. Uh, that is exactly where we walked through. Behind those people right there is the parking lot. That is the Mexican flag that I showed you from the parking lot. Parking lot's right there. You're seeing Americans walk through with their kids and everything else. Uh, the last estimate I was told was 100,000 people walk through those gates to come over here and get eyeglasses, dentistry, and everything else. You walk back there, you walk through a little tiny courtyard, and where that little house is right there, whatever it's called, uh, you come out right there where the green is, you come out right there, you come down onto the street, you're coming onto the street down here, I guess I should have showed you that. Anyway, so there's the border station right there. I'm not going to videotape because they said not to. You go through right there. Walk through there. There's the tourist information. There is a dentist and eyeglass place all down through here. This is the main road and you go down. You don't even have to come very far across the border to get stuff done. Oops. Trip. There's a huge optical place right here. It's very huge. Uh, they've got a ton of stuff going on in there. You've got a dentist right here, and this is the way that I went. Can I put you on camera? Okay. I always see I always ask, right? No, I'm just videotaping for my YouTube channel. I got a bunch of people wanting to know how to get down here and how to get stuff done, so. Yeah, yeah. You want me to put your business on? I'll put your business on. He says, go there, best prices. Right? I don't videotape anybody that, I always ask. Okay, again, they have a ton of optical in here. And so, the border station's right there. Uh, Another clinic, you got another clinic, pain management, you get your pain pills over here. All these cars are going back into California right there. We parked in that parking lot right there. We walked down the street right here. You got uh, Algonotus Optical Progressive Lenses, 69 bucks. Second pair, 50% off. This is exactly where I just went in. So then you've got a parking lot over here. You got a street here with all kinds of dentists. My daughter has uh, her own dentist. Again, there's just a ton of them. There's all kinds of Americans that come down here. And uh, this right here, is exactly where I'm going to get my glasses. Right there. Borders right there. We parked over there. Uh, shoot, what, 10 minutes to park and you actually make it over here? That's it, guys, seriously, that's it. Okay, so I got Algodonus Optical right there. I try not to videotape anybody, but uh, Okay, so they've got Gucci, Nike, all these, and I've got their business card. So we come in, the AC's going, nice and cool in here. Uh, really good selection of stuff. Uh, he's back there with somebody right now, and then he's going to come to me. So you've got Elgadonis Optical. Ton of stuff here. And this is the young man that's helping me today. And uh, what's your name, sir? Saul. Saul. This is Saul. Hi, Saul. How are you? So he, uh, Saul here has got me in. He's got me an appointment, and all I did was walk in. But it's also August, mm -hmm. so uh, I've got their phone number here, toll free one eight six six 
225-7033. And you can, uh, he's got a P.O. Box 1864, Yuma, Arizona, 85366. And then on the back is a, I'm trying to focus. Okay, well, the, you guys know my camera stinks, so it's not going to work. So Saul got me in today, and he showed me a bunch of glasses, and we're going to work on something that is decent, as my glasses have a bunch of super glue on them. <laughs> and uh, in the States, I just went to Lens Crafters in Reno, Nevada, and paid $600 for a pair of glasses. They're going to cost me about $225 over here, approximate. Now, the prices are different depending on what you need and what you have to have and the lenses that you get and the, and the frames that you get and everything else. And I'm just trying to go as cheap as possible. But I have really good insurance, so they tell me. And Lens Crafters in Reno, Nevada was approximately $600 for a pair, and I'm getting them down here for $225. That's the difference. Uh, so I just showed him outside, Saul, the, uh, how easy it was to find this place. We walked just pretty much from the border straight down here. That's pretty easy right here, you know, if you, as soon as you cross the border, we're still located right by the, but a block for, from the borderline. Yep. So that's, that's pretty easy. It is really, really yeah. easy to find. Yes, it is. You cross the street, you follow yeah. the fence down, the traffic down, and yeah. it's right here. It's mm -hmm. that easy. Uh, we went over the cost. Now you said it's going to take a couple hours for me to actually have a pair of glasses yeah. in my hand. Yes, and, that's correct. And that's walk correct. and walk back across the border. Mm -hmm. Now to get those glasses done at Lens Crafters, it took me two weeks to get them back. Well, now we got a uh, express service, and uh, your glasses means uh, like a trifocal, lineless. We call them progressives and photo grade or transition and that one you can get them in a two hours two and a half hours is that amazing guys it is, <laughs> it is. well here in Mexico we, we try to give a better uh, you know pretty fast service right and a good quality too right and also we got a we got a, a, a all the kind of a frames all the kind of quality you want to show us some of your frames yeah, might sure. as well uh, for, for example this this one here this one here we got the uh, we call them uh, mid quality frames because I got three higher on this mm -hmm. and three lower on this. But this this frame just by itself it's in hundred nine dollars. The whole service like for you for you it's in a progressive uh, transition. I'm still giving to you the IXM for two hundred twenty nine dollars. Is that amazing, guys? That is absolutely and, amazing. Uh, and also, we got a we got a promotion. The promotion one, the ones they have, you can get them an extra pair. In other words, second pair for a permanent sunglasses. Two pairs <laughs> uh, for sunglasses for just seventy nine dollars. The same, the same thing. I'm gonna get me a pair of sunglasses today too. Progressive. I'm gonna have progressive, to. Progressive, but on a permanent sunglasses. See. Yeah. So and the other ones, what I had, the ones I had behind the cage is over here. This is like a brand name frames, like an Aduce Gaban, like an Roberto Cavalli, Versace. You know the brand name frames. I got the Prada, Pradas back there. I got the Casal, and that ones. Uh, if you give me a chance to give you the, the prices, and that ones. You can get an uh, and progressive. If you can come over here, please. All this section, it's in a brand name frames. This one here. They've got a lot of selection in here, yeah, guys. This is a this is a really nice selection. This little tiny shop right here has more selections than I had uh, at Lens Crafters in Reno. And if you can see, this is a <coughs> DNG and uh, this is a uh, Versace. And the promotion, what I have right now, and those ones, you can get the same deal, progressive and transition, include the IXM for $269.
Wow. $269. And wow. I still get him the uh, covers to give you the, the deal for the second pair. You can get the second pair for just $99. Wow. Brand name frames. Right. Same prescription. So two pair of glasses is still cheaper. Two pair of glasses you can get one transition, the one that turned dark outside, and an and a extra pair for sunglasses. You can get two of these for three sixty-eight. Yeah. Two pairs. Yeah. I'm talking about brand name frames. Remember, keep in mind that. Yes. And the other, the other uh, frames, the ones I'm showing you before, the first ones, what I'm show you, you can get for three oh eight. The two pairs. Right. One transition and one permanent sunglasses. So we got a pretty good deal. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a very good deal because like I said, I think I paid five or six hundred dollars for just one pair at Lens Crafters and that's with good insurance. There you go. The, and and how many people would you say come through here every single year? Well, uh a Good lot. Question. It's a lot. It's a lot. In winter, winter time, uh, we got uh, around a hundred persons for each day. Yeah. More than that, probably more than that. Yeah, yeah. More and people that. come from all over. They come from Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the whole United States and the northern Canada too, and we got. A, all the kind of customers. So August is the best time to come down to beat the tourist, but it's really hot. It is. It's very hot. Almost burn. Yeah. Almost burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, right. it's, it's really miserable. Yeah. Uh, it, we are pretty blessed right now with some reasonable temperatures at 110. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so right. So, <laughs> so uh, there again, their selection is really good. And uh, when you come down, that you know they'll they'll work with you on prices. Nothing is set in stone, and so it depends on the frames you get. It depends on the glasses that you need, and everything else. So I could get two pair today for half price of what I paid for one pair in the states with good insurance. You guys know that I was a state employee, and uh, for the state of California, and. Uh, I have good insurance, but like I said, their their uh, their selection is really good, and it's so easy to find. I mean, literally, the border is right there, where I parked is right over there, and all you have to do is follow the border fence down, and this is the traffic that's going back into California, and walk down the sidewalk, and this place is right here. So it's really super easy to find, and I'm getting one heck of a deal. So I could very well get two pair today. We'll have to look at my budget. Okay, the kid inside uh, Dr. Parra's office is actually going to uh, let me interview him. So we're do the. Uh, we are right here, and again, you see the Mexican flag where you know we crossed right through uh, the eye doctors right there we're gonna walk inside dr. Parra's office and my daughter yeah she let me leave the house today with this so we're in dr. Parra's office this is Tim hi Tim how long have you worked for dr. Parra I've been working here since already gonna be three years Wow so uh, how easy is it to find once you cross the border once soon as you park on the U.S. side, as soon as you walk in, you just make a left right away. And yep. just walk, not even about three minute walk. It is literally from the parking lot to here, maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's if you're really slow walking in a walker. Mm -hmm. The border's right there. All those cars right there are going back across into, the they're going back across the border into California. So you guys were just on the news this morning. Yes, we were. You want to talk about that? They were interviewing the main doctor, which is Dr. Eva de la Toba, here at Dr. Parr's dental office, um, about the precise of how people, people come and everything. And so... <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So it was uh, NBC or ABC? NBC. NBC had uh, you guys on the news this morning as uh, Molar City. Right. Los Algodones, Mexico is considered, and tell us why. It's the dental capital of the world. They have more than 600 dentists here, when I mean a mile in radius in this area. And there's just so many, back to back. Yeah, and, and then uh, Dr. Parra is one of the pioneers that started back then, in about, they say, about almost 40 years ago. Wow. 
So he's got a prime location here, really. I mean, it is, it's literally not even 10 minutes from where you park your car to uh, sitting in a chair. It's, it's literally that, that, qu that close. Mm -hmm. how, how do you, uh, when I was down getting my eyeglasses, they talked about the recession and how it's impacted the amount of people that have come down here. Do you think that the amount of people that have come down to this area has fallen off in the last couple of years? It fluctuates, it goes up and down. One year it could be really good, the next year it could be a little bit lower. And then uh, on one month will just spring back up and the other month will go down. Summertime is when it gets a little bit more slower. Because it's where, so hot. Right. A lot, that's where a lot of locals come in yep. because of the lineups. And so a lot of people don't want to get extensive work done so that way we were able to, uh, to do a lot more work on them and the laboratory is able to work on them at lesser time they need to be spending. Love it. I love it. Do you yeah. want to go over some of the cost? I know that uh, my daughter looked at how much this was going to cost her in the States. And uh, do you mind touching on that a little bit? No. What, what, are, what are people telling you when they come in? How much do they save? From what I heard, well, the people have told me that the root canals cost like 1900 over there. For us, including the core buildup, ours is $300. Right. The crowns can range over there from 900 our crowns can range from 300 to 400 to 500. I'm going to let him get this phone. I'm going to turn this off real fast. Go. So you were talking about prices. Mm-hmm. Our prices are different from a lot to the states. That's why a lot of people come here, you know, because they get a better, better price, a better deal that they can afford. So would you say it's about 25% of the cost of the U.S.? Well, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, a lot compared, like an implant here costs 1600 That's including the, already the final stage of the, the crown. And in the States, it's like three grand or something. I so think just for the implant itself, those three grand. Already. So the cost savings is astronomical. It's astronomical. So how many dentists do you think are in the town of Algodona alone? Oh, easy. More, probably now more than 600 I mean, the town has grown. And if you come in here, and Tim's working, he can hook you up with places to go as well to get your med medicine yeah. and your eyeglasses. Yep. And it's a nice, safe places to go. And anything else? Uh, you were talking about a shuttle service as well? Yes. Um, we deal with the pharmacy, the Phoenix Pharmacy here. And um, we've been working with them for many years. We also work with the Pichon Casino, which they provide you with a discount rate just as long as you let them know you're a patient. And we also work with uh, Great Western. And Best the Western, casino sorry. he's talking about is the casino that we passed and we drove around when we first came in here. So they will give you a discount if you let them know that you are a patient here. And Para and Penn Center. And what they do is uh, the casino down there will provide a shuttle and the shuttle comes down here and drops you off. Uh, I would assume it drops you off in the parking lot over there and you just walk across because literally this is just right here. You can't get any closer to the border than right there. Okay, I'm going to go through, I went through the border again, I forgot something in my car. You go straight through there, you go through this little courtyard here. and. Uh, the Mexican flag is right above me that I keep showing you guys. And you walk straight down onto the street. The cross the street and go straight down there and you see Algodonas Optical right there. Yes you do. Bam! That's how close it is. That's it. Literally. So you just walk down on the street and it's nice and mellow today. I think I'm gonna go find myself something to eat or some drugs. I don't know, we'll see. You wanna... I'm doing a video, you wanna do an interview? Uh, sure, I guess. Come on, you got the gift for Gab. Well, Go ahead, Miguel, sell me. All right, man, if you're looking for the best deals on medication. I just came across the border. 
And this awesome young man right here, Miguel, is going to tell me all about it. Go ahead, Miguel. Right, this town is full of dentistries, opticals, and medications. If you want to look for the best deals, you stay in the purple facilities for the best deals on medicine, glasses, and dentistry. We do have a five-star facility across the street over there, Alberto Family Dental. We're clean, we're honest, we're one of the best competitors. Nobody gives you seven to ten years warranty. Seven to ten years warranty. Guaranteed, come see me personally, I'll take you over there and give you a 15% off. 15% off, okay? We got gold, zirconia, crowns, partials, implants, orthodontics, periodontics, we got it all. You come check us out for the best deals in the purple facilities. Thank you. What's your price difference between uh, here and, and America? About 15 or 20 times cheaper. You got crowns for 150 here, you're paying over 600 for the cheaper crowns over there, okay? And how many uh, how many Americans do you think come across the border every single day? In the winter, about twenty five hundred to three thousand. What do you day. What do you consider the winter months? I would say October to uh, May. October to May, you have how many coming across every about day? About twenty five hundred to three thousand a day. A day. Yep. And come to the Lakey's Pharmacy for the best deals on up to date medications, yep. antibiotics, insulins, pain medicine testosterone shots we got it all whatever you need we got it what uh, where's the forest you think people travel to come down here and you guys were on ABC News Al Las Algodonas was on ABC News this morning did you see the broadcast I was working but I heard about it. yeah yeah okay so you did uh, hear about it I've met people from Canada Alaska all the way up from China awesome Korea oh wow Korea okay and, uh, what would you say that Obamacare uh, medical has had an impact on the amount of people that come down here? None. You don't think it's had an impact at all? It's I've talked a lot cheaper from Obamacare. Still, medicine is a lot cheaper down here. Yes. Yeah. I've been telling them about the price of my glasses and dental work and everything and we also else. So provide the three up opticals available. It's called Mendoza. Nobody gives you your second pair fifty percent off if you want to get a second pair. Three years warranty on the glasses. Awesome. And uh, same day service. Do you have a business card? Because I'm going to be taking pictures of all business cards and uh, putting them on my YouTube channel. Well, if you want to see some good guys, I want you to meet these guys in the Alberta Dental Family. Okay. I'll take one, and what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll just take one, okay. put it in this pocket and here. As you can see, we're not no young kids. Just experienced dentists, highly, and we don't hire nobody under under eight years experience okay we got nothing but good dentists that's why our warranty is from seven to ten years awesome okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you one of my cards okay and i'm going to be putting this on my youtube channel so uh this is miguel he'll greet you as soon as you come across the border personally for your 15 percent off yep and is it okay if we go inside she next. She's next? Yeah, she's next. She looks like a movie star. Oh, uh, movie star, yeah. Would you like to give me a tour? This is going <laughs> to be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> she doesn't want to do it. I, is he pressuring you to do it? Because you don't have to if you don't want to. That's fine. How about you just tell me what we got, what you got, and I won't put your face on here. Is that is that what you want? No. You're beautiful. Sorry, man. I don't speak English. Oh, okay, okay. That's why he put me to you. Okay, I got gotcha. you. No worries. It's okay. Thank you. Anyway, they've got uh, they've got everything in here. You know, from your sundries to everything. And what I what I like personally to get when I'm over here is vanilla. The price of the vanilla is uh, is a really really good deal. And you can say, see that almost every place sells vanilla. So if you bake a lot, your best deal, bet is to come down here and get your vanilla. You want to give me a tour? Huh? Uh, they're all shy. They're all shy and bashful. Very good looking, handsome man. He looks like a movie star. They've got, uh, they've got everything. All your penicillins, your creams, your antibiotics. Um, a lot of creams and stuff like that. All your shampoos, all your sundries. Do you mind if I interview you real fast? Yeah. <laughs> about why you're down here? Okay, so you come down here. How far did you travel to come down here? Oh, just from Yuma. Okay. We came down all the way from Susanville, so it's, you know, uh, 12 hours, 13, 14 hours. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. So you come down for his medication? No, for his. 
Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, most of these guys don't want to be on camera, but it's all good. So they, they have, uh, medicine-wise, they have everything you want. Shampoos, conditioners, they, it's, it's a pharmacy. It's a pharmacy. And literally their prices are 10 cents on the dollar. Right over there is your optical. Thank so you thank you so thank much. You, You're very welcome. welcome they all look like movie stars. Okay, so again, you've got dental over there, and, and I'm literally just inside the border. Buy one pair, get a second pair, half off, free exam with the purchase five glasses. That's what most of these guys do. They give you a free exam. Phar pharmacy over there, you've got a dental over there. I'm gonna find me something to eat. Okay, so then your first street down here, cross section is where you're gonna get all your uh, your goodies. Your little girl's dresses, your sunglasses, your ponchos, your hats, and we are literally just inside the border. Sunglasses. Optical, the... dental services. Go ahead, young man. We have everything pretty much right here, whatever you guys are looking for. Optical, dental services, jewelry, miscellaneous, so when we first come across the border, this is this is what we're gonna get right here. I've been coming down here for the last 20 years. I'm gonna put this on my YouTube channel. I've been telling people I come down here to get my uh, teeth done, glasses done, of your thing like that, and everybody has a lot of questions. So What's what I'm... The question you want to ask The questions that they ask are how do I find it, the safety of Mexico, uh, the prices... Sure. Uh, my question to you guys is how do you like Americans and be honest be honest I, I like honesty I prefer I'll be, I'll be, I'll tell you the truth I was raised in the States okay so you're used to Anglo-Americans are good people honest people loyal people why am I saying this because I was raised in the States and I was raised in Mexico. So okay. So I know both ways. Right, right, okay. I was raised with the Anglo Americans. Okay. And I was in the States. Awesome. So I went to school. Then I also went to my culture and I knew my culture. Right. The cultures. So. Better food. I, I, better I, food over better, here. I, better, <laughs> better, better options. They're more, more, more open minded. They're willing to help you even there if you're not your blood related. I right. As you do good. They're willing to help you. Right. If Americans, if you do certain bad things and everything, they fade away. They will not help you. They kind of shun you. Correctly. Only the yeah. honest and the eager to follow, they'll help you out. Right. My point for Americans and everything, good people. Honest people, good living people, family people, and people like them, honesty, they're, they're, they're not around. Yeah. Cool. So, okay. so yeah, so that's that's my point of view. He has a better outlook on Americans than I do. Well, I mean, reality, because I was raised that way in uh, America. It's it's freedom. It's a country to it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's the America to go dream. Right. To dreams. Yeah. Freedom, if you work hard, you can be you something. You can proceed. Yeah, yeah. But now, this time at this moment, things are changing. People are not gonna go over there. Because of the whole situation, what's going on, presidential things. Right. Well, I, not. I'm sorry to interrupt. You have beautiful eyes. Well, thank you. <laughs> she wanted to come on TV. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Well, yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah. So, so you think that Obama has had an effect on the amount of people that go from Mexico over there? Now, I have a question to yeah. you. Do you think that Obamacare has had uh, an, an impact on how many people come over here? Yes, they have. You think so? You think that it, oh, yeah. it's more? You're seeing more? Or? A lot of people are coming here because of the Obamacare was whatsoever and everything. Because the medical things out there are more higher. Dental situations are higher. Right. Reality, so a lot of people are fellow Americans. Some of them don't make that much money. No, they don't. They're, they're living on their social or whatever they live on. Yep. So reality, it, it's hurting the country instead of hurting the whole nation wide. Yeah, yeah. So so they come over here to to visit us, to save money. Yeah. And they come for vacations. Yep. Because reality, 
let's say if you're gonna buy an implant over there, it's like four thousand. Right. Over here, you get it down for a thousand. Then you have money to shop around. You have money <laughs> for this and everything. Right. So reality is kind of like a get going out of things and everything. But that's pretty much what it is. So you would say that the average savings over here compared to over there getting just dental done is at least half or a third. A third. Yeah, a third at least. At least a third. I'll eat a third. I, I'm I'm seeing at least a third. At, yeah. At least a yeah. third. Yeah. 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 Reality. Yeah. At least a third because reality. Now what? Do you, what can you buy inside of a pharmacy here? In pharmacy, you could buy pretty much. On our pharmacy that I work for here, you can't buy certain things that are prescribed are narcotics. We don't sell narcotics at this pharmacy. Right. You have you to get a doctor's prescription. Exactly. Even though if you have to get a doctor's prescription, we don't have certain narcotics that we don't want to handle. Right. We right. don't handle like Advil, ibuprofen, and certain things around here and everything that are more common and everything. Okay, and this is the pharmacy that you work for right yes. here. This okay, this pharmacy is real loyal, safe, and everything. It's one of the lowest. And it's right across the border. Yeah. I'm. I literally just, you know, I showed yeah. you guys. I just this literally worked. Right here will not sell you anything. Right here will sell you like 90 day production to hold your things. Yeah. But things that you can pass from the borderline there to reality. Yeah. Now, do you think that having to have a passport now is more of a hassle to get through the border, or do you think it's... A lot of people are getting a hassle, and a lot of people aren't getting the passports. It's the way things are, it's, the taxes are more taxed up, Okay. they're more raised up and everything. So that's, 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 what, that's what I'll let you go to work. That's okay. okay. I'm working. Okay. Okay. Now, if you guys pharmacy, I have a great deal since I got we pretty much we're here to ask people if they need help, direction, guidance, yep. help about and how safe basically is. So I've been here for about seven years. Reality, when I was going to come over here, they told me not to come over here because the cartels and everything. I've been coming I to, seen none of to that Algodonas. All things, whatever. Yeah. It's one of the safest borderlands there is. I, I think that Algodonas is one it's of the better towns. I do. People take care of themselves, people take care of their clients. Yep. And little, little things, they don't come over the here. The tourist are your income. You want to protect your income. Reality, so. <laughs> we don't put it that way if they're our income. Reality, they're a customer. We're rich in here. Reality, yeah. If there was no other donuts, we're rich. Yeah. In yeah. a way that if there's more income, more income. We got money whether they come here or don't come here. Whatever. This is, a, I like good. coming down here. But I do. Gonna live. Right. Okay. Reality, we take care of this because this is our land and this is the way we treat our people. Yep. Whether it's Americans or not Americans, this is the way we got the people to be treated. Right, right, awesome. Treat them the right way and everything with honest respect and everything so they can come back and everything. Yeah. And reality, uh, money-wise, comes and goes after, after you meet so many people and everything. <laughs> you you meet a lot of people. You got to have the good stuff. Right, right. Well, it's good, it's good. We need all of them, right? Yep, all of yep. them, guys. This guy's pharmacy, guys. All right. We need all of them because. Okay. Just like you guys need us, we need you guys. Absolutely. Right? Because yeah. it's expensive out there. It and is uh, expensive out there. Humans humans are humans, man. I'm going to keep cruising. Uh, well, Chris, I'm going to talk to the guy green over there, Edgar. He's gonna, he'll give you good commentary. Okay, he looks like a movie star. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I think he said his name was Edgar. Edgar, he's sending me to you, darling. He says you're a movie star. I'm a movie star. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm coming down here and showing people how easy it is to cross the border, get their teeth done, get their get their eyeglasses, and how easy it is to shop. Oh, it's super duper easy. You just walk over, and everybody's trying to get you into the dental. Right. So it's easy. The hard part is picking which one because there's so many of them. Exactly. So exactly. Do you have a favorite one? Yeah, I like Jorge Cortez. Okay, yeah, okay, and that's just right down the street here? Yeah, it's two locations. One inside here and oh. a brand new, really nice one inside the Mary's Park. Inside the purple building? Yeah, behind the purple building. Behind the, the purple building? On Sagaray Plaza. Okay, on the other side yeah. where the uh, border fence is. Right there, right, oh. right where the car's coming in now. Yep, and that's how I showed you guys that earlier. As you remember, when I was on the other side of the street, I was doing that yeah. over there. It's a very good dance. So what do you have in here? Right here? Yep. We mostly sell shirts, all kinds of little... Oh, thank you. All kinds of little knickknacks, souvenirs, belts, leather work, stuff Walk like that. Walk me around. Show me what you got. Well, I'm videotaping. This is going to go on to my YouTube channel. and, and uh, here They sell purses. They sell all kinds of belts, shirts. Nice leather stuff, shirts, uh, girls' dresses, 
sundresses. They've got some really hats, cool blankets. Hat, you can get all your blankets over here if you buy in bulk. They cut you a deal. So these are awesome Christmas presents for everybody that lives in the south or north of uh, up there where it's cold. You come down here, you know, get you a hundred blankets. He'll make you a hell of a deal. And uh, go ahead. They're all little shops though. Like the outside shop is one shop, and then right here, this is another. Little shop. Okay, so they're all individual shops, yeah. and they've all got individual shop owners. And that's another shop right there. And there's a bunch of dental. Inside here is where the, te the uh, bakery is. A lot of people hear about the bakery. A lot of people like to come down to the bakery. Show me the bakery. The if only you, thing if, is, there's you, nothing in the bakery right now because oh. it's closed because it's the summer. Yeah, yeah. But everybody looks for it in the winter. Gotcha. And right here, this guy right here, the Amigo Wholesale. He has tons of leather right in there, but he's closed. There's a lot of places that are closed right now. It's the summertime. It's hot. There, uh, there's not a lot of business down no. going on down here. Uh, tourists just there's don't come down. Yep, they got an optical here. An optical over there. And uh, this is where the bakery normally is. But it's oh, closed. okay, okay. There's a jewelry store right here too. The pottery is awesome down here. You got just some big. Uh, this is the bakery, but it's closed. It's Bakery's open. closed. Okay, and then you got a really cool jewelry yeah, shop yeah, here. I don't wear jewelry. Free, free right. Nope. Nope. Okay, so anyway, we're going to continue with this. We're walking through here. And in the summertime, all or the wintertime, what they consider their wintertime here, uh, another dentist right here, all these shops are open. There's yeah. a lot of leather down here. There's a lot of stained glass down here. I love getting my stained glass down here because it's beautiful. Throw you a small one in the That's window. That's a really nice little shop too, but it's closed. Okay, there's uh, all kinds of shops in here, full of dentistry and everything else. So, Another uh, optical. Opticals all over the place. Yep. Little sundresses for the little girls, glasses. You got your Harley Davidson wear. These uh, backpacks are, are awesome for kids for school. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep, awesome. That's pretty much the whole town. <laughs> Except for pharmacies, there's, there's no pharmacies right here, but there's pharmacies everywhere else. There is. Okay, we're, uh, I'm going to go get myself something to eat, and I've got a friend here that's going to help me find some stuff. This has changed a lot since I've been in here. This used to all be open, and now they've built up all the way around it. It's all shaded. It's a lot cooler in here, and I've always eaten inside of here, so this is where, where I'm going to eat. And we got some good guys going to show us. So what's your name? Rico. My name is Rico. Shiriko? Rico. Yeah. Okay. Don't. <laughs> Rico. It's, it's too hard. It's too hard to pronounce in English. Right. It's more easy. Yeah. Rico. Okay. It's the roll of the tongue, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So he's going to show me a good place to eat. This has really changed since I've been down in here. Wow. This is really nice. Right here. This, this one here is my sister. This is his sister right here, and she does what's uh, dentistry. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a dentist in here. You've got a leather shop over here. Wow, this has really changed. This is nice. Little by little, they are clean and everything. You see? They're getting cameras in here. Yeah, everything fixed, coloring all the wrong. Wow. And the corner also, you can see it's trying to fix. But it's coming trying to Got a, another dental clinic in here. Is this one yours? Yeah. Okay. So he's. Oh yeah, it's nice and cool in here. Hi. Hi. Uh, I've been coming down here for 20 years. He remembered me. That's really strange. He's a doctor. But uh, so you're the dentist here. Uh, you want to give me your spiel? I have a lot of the people that I know uh, asking me how far inside the Mexican border are you? Is it safe down here? And what are the prices? Those are the three questions that I'm getting the most from people. So sell your business, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Good. Do you have a business card for yeah, him? I got right here. The different, the different, the prices is different. Go exchange the prices. Yes. The price, the prices come the one fifty to three fifty to four hundred dollars depends on the crowns. Right. You find a silicone crown, you find a the Emacs crown, you find a metal with porcelain or 
Uh, with your own in person, depends on the crime you want. Right, right. So, uh, with like the eyeglasses and everything else, it's exactly what exactly. you, what it is that you need, what needs to be done, the amount of care, um, the extent of if you've got to do surgery. Do you do implants here? Uh, yeah. implants. You, you do implants? Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's got his license right here on the wall, and so he's licensed, and it's nice and cool in here. Just like a movie star. Yeah. There's the other ones. Okay. This one, you see, three, six, and I have more. Okay, okay. He's got them, right, right? Okay, so uh, go ahead. I get the best uh, service in town, and the prices and uh, the quality first. And I hear all 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 day. Now people are out there on the streets are offering uh, guarantees. I got five years guarantee for anything that will happen. I, I put a new one, fix, and no, you know you don't spend no no money. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the guarantee is only. You can't even fix it. Awesome, awesome. So I'm going to take your card, okay. and what we're going to do is I'm going to take pictures of everything and put it on because my camera doesn't focus that easy. So it uh, even gives you a little map on the back, and that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to I'll do that. So uh, this has really, really changed in here. I know it's changed a lot. In yeah. Everything is uh, to clean everything. You know what? Yeah, this is really. I lo well, I love the yellow, so it's it's really cool. It's very happy, happy color. And they're putting on a second story. The the second story was here before, but it was definitely not this nice. And uh, yeah, this has really changed. Oh, here you go. So yeah, you can do you can do bridge work. You can do crown work. You can do dentures and you can do implants, dental okay. crowns. You do this here. You've got gold. You've got metal porcelain, dental resin, dental braces, parcel dentures, dentures. And he do that also. Uh, what is that? Oh, the removing of the. Uh, nice. Okay, so you're removing this here. You have to make the loop, make the holes for this. Okay, so it, uh, it's going to make you beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so you can get, this is what I would consider cosmetic. Yeah, that's cosmetic. Yeah, this is cosmetic. This is to make your face look thinner, obviously, a lot thinner. Okay. So this that's open, uh, in October, they start to open. You need to fix all the ceiling and everything. Okay. That's why. Maybe the floor. He change the floor later. So this is going to be open, and this is next door, and this is going to be open uh, in October. So you're going to have your nails and your and your massage and all that good stuff here. So cool. Start to work in October to fix everything as well. You wow. can see the ceiling and everything. Yep, they're working on the electric. Yeah, and they're the floor is new floor. Maybe <coughs> next month. Wow. This is it's looking okay. nice. It's looking really nice. Beautiful living. Yeah, yeah. It looks it looks really cool. I'm gonna have myself a taco. <laughs> so literally, I just walked around the corner and got hooked up with a fish <laughs> taco. Want to be a movie star? Crazy Mexican. Oh man, with your red shoes on, I know that makes you crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Anyway, so I walked around the corner here, just uh, leaving the uh, thing there, and they steered me in this direction. He says he makes the best tacos in the world right here. And I got me some shrimp tacos. So he did me up some shrimp here. And the shrimp tacos, number one. Number one shrimp tacos right there, man. That's the good stuff. So come over here and throw some, uh, throw some good stuff on it. You've got your cabbage. Uh, what is this? 